Let us count. Hello, friends. I am Bunny, and this is Chotu. Today, Chotu is going to help his uncle at his shop in the fruit market. So today with Chotu we will learn to count the number of fruits. Write the numbers and identify tens and ones in the numbers. Chotu, look. Different varieties of fruit are kept here. You have to count the fruits and tell their number. You also have to tell how many groups of ten are there in each, so that we can count them easily. Uncle, a group of ten means tens. In school, our teacher taught us that a group of ten is called tens, and less than ten are called ones. Okay, Chotu. So you count the fruits and tell me. How we can show them in tens and ones? Okay, Uncle. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are twelve apples. Well done. Apples twelve. Now tell me how many tens. And ones are there in twelve. One group of ten will be formed, and two apples will be left. So there is one tens and two ones. Well done. Now count these bananas and place them in the second box. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Hmm. There are fifteen bananas. How many tens are there in fifteen? There are fifteen bananas. A group of ten will be formed. So there is one tens in fifteen. And how many ones are there? There are five bananas left. So there are five ones. Well done, Chotu. Now let's count these oranges and place them in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. There are twenty oranges. Well done. Now tell me, how many tens are there in twenty? With twenty oranges, two groups of ten oranges will be formed. So there are two tens. And how many ones are there in twenty? Hmm. There are no oranges left here. So number of ones is zero. Well done, Chotu. Now count these coconuts and place them in the basket. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yes. So how many groups of ten coconuts are there, and how many single coconuts are left? Hmm. There is one group of ten coconuts and one single coconut left. So it will be one tens and one ones in eleven. Absolutely right. Now count these watermelons and tell their count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There are eight watermelons. Hmm. So how many tens and ones are there in eight? There are only eight watermelons. So we cannot form any group of ten. So there is zero tens and eight ones. Chotu, 
I have counted the pomegranates and placed them in the groups of tens. Can you tell me how many pomegranates are there? Uncle, there are two groups of tens. That means two tens and three single pomegranates. That means three ones. Uncle, there are twenty-three pomegranates. Two groups of tens, so it will be ten and ten twenty. And there are three more pomegranates, so it will be twenty-one, twenty-two and twenty-three. There are twenty-three pomegranates. Absolutely right. Chotu, you did a great job today. Thank you, Uncle. I had so much fun working with you today. So, friends, today we learned to count the number of fruits and write the numbers and identify tens and ones in numbers. In the next video, we will learn to identify big numbers and small numbers.